And now, the Sally Goes Wild team go wild about rivers, or more precisely, what's in our rivers. In fact, Sally says we might just be surprised at what you can find lurking in their, in their murky depths. Yes, in her murky depths. But it's not any old monster they're after. No, it's one you might think you'd find by the coast, and one you can actually put in a wok. Any ideas? No. Here's Sally. Today, the Sally Goes Wild team has come to Leicester. Foss Park is just over that way and the busy M1 and the city centre are just a stone's throw from this place. Not a very peaceful spot for East Midlands wildlife, you might think. But actually this month, we've decided to take a look at what lies beneath. With the help of David Rogers, he's the Professor of Freshwater Biology at University of Derby, we're hoping we may have caught something in our traps. So you set one trap here and there's another one over here? Yeah, there are four altogether. Okay. This is the first one, so... And we're hoping to find freshwater crayfish. And, and you've obviously set the traps here because you think there's quite a lot of crayfish to be trapped around here then? Yeah, I'm fairly certain of catching them here. Yeah. So, yeah, we've caught, um, caught two there. two there. Actually, they, they are bigger than I expected them to be. Well, <laughs> did you want me to show you how to hold it? Yeah, OK. Is that safe there. to do it? Yeah. Uh, these will touch you, yeah. but they won't hurt you. OK. They and are. the other one will try and get me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. But don't put your fingers near that one. Yeah. They're both signal crayfish. They've got red claws here. Yeah. Um, they also have a white So, So now here. the signal one is the American one that's been kind of wiping out our native white claw, isn't it? Yeah, the signal one is the invasive um, uh, non-native crayfish. It can outcompete our native crayfish because it's bigger and more aggressive, but also it carries a crayfish plague. Uh, and so when it gets in the, uh, in the same water as a, um, a native crayfish, the native crayfish dies. So just eventually there'll be no more native white claws, that'll just be the end. That's the way it's, um, the way it's going. Once you've trapped them, Yes. You then can't put them back. Well, it is illegal to release them again. Right. And, and therefore, um, uh, one's obliged to um, uh, dispose of them, if you like. What we'll do with these is take them home, boil them up and cook, uh, cook them and eat them. So I think you can agree there are some amazing things to be found in our local rivers and streams. And I'm so glad we managed to trap some of these amazing creatures today and take a look at these crayfish, fresh out of the river saw. But you know what? I've become quite attached to these little fellas. So you know what, David? You can take these home for your tea. And me and my wok are going to go home alone. <laughs>